Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are still in the thick of the Ballon d'Or and the Centurions market crash in FC25, but EA might have more content coming today to make prices crash even further. We're looking ahead to an Icon Pack SBC today, which also means we need to talk about fodder investing. But of course, we're going to be looking at the meta market and prices that have dropped so much in these past couple of days. When could they start rebounding as those loans expire in a couple of days? Could today be the beginning of the turning point where prices go back up a little bit as people start to build teams again? as these loans are going away. Plus, we have to talk about yesterday's SBC. There was one SBC that was kind of monumental, but it's still so sad that it's the first day that we finally had an Icon SBC was November 9th of this year of FC25. So there's a lot to discuss, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's Evo first because that actually was a good piece of content. The 100 Club Evolution, which... I don't know. The description on this is kind of funny if you honestly look at it. Elevate a striker with a boost of up to 100 sub attributes. That's how they're getting the 100 Centurions vibes out of this. But this is a good Evo because especially if you have a, a striker who's lacking in the pace area on the card, this Evo is perfect for them. You can get a striker up to 90 pace. That's the best part of this evolution. Now, personally, I'm going to have to do some research and figure out who I want to put in this. But huge pace boost, good finish boost shooting boost overall and you do get a advanced forward plus uh, added to the card max four star weak foot and what is it max 88 pace or something like that was one of the limiting factors to this guys here was a, here's what i would tell you go to footbin and look at evolution combinations because if you saved any evos especially the power shot ultimate edition evolution which i still have saved i have not used it this might be the spot where I use it because, man, some of these combos, bringing back a FIFA legend of Nani, look at that card. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills with Power Shot Plus. I mean, not a lot of people have this evolution still available, nor do they want to pay 90k for this Bon Mati Evo, but that's a really sick card there. Even some bronze and silver cards going into Hey Jude, and then... That the 100 Club Evolution, that's a Barca card that looks pretty sick. The the lap card from Ipswich, I know a lot of people are doing with Power Shot Plus. And then, of course, there's Luis Suarez Inform, who's not even up that much. He's 18K. You, put, you pay 18K to put him into an Evolution that's free, and you get that 15 pace of an upgrade. That's a usable Luis Suarez. I believe also you can put him into the Power Shot Plus uh, Evolution, which would give him, yeah, full power. So you could give Luis Suarez a... Uh, power shot plus and then you could put him into the 100 club and get him 86 rated with those stats with power shot plus that will be electric uh, for the good old vibes right and of course a lot of people are using their old ultimate edition evolution cards that they put into that power shot plus evo the first time and evolving them once again with some pace boost and shooting boost the one card that i will say i don't think looks that good though it's not on the list right now or showing but it's john duran i tweeted this out yesterday because john duran literally gets plus four stats on his card because of the stat limits and that's a card that went up a lot yesterday because he fit the evo uh, at first i think he's down now but that's the thing with stat limits this year in evos is you kind of have to be careful because sometimes you think an evo is going to actually help your card out when a card fits an evo but you got to look at the individual stats because sometimes it doesn't but i think that's a nice evo love that it's free love the boost that it gives it's a fun one now we go to live friendlies this wasn't talked about a lot yesterday but it is 100 necessary to do this ballon d'or brilliance live foot friendly event which of course basically you just use it your loan cards the ballon d'or loan players at minimum one in your starting 11 and max two loan players are the requirements for this this is a part of the objective ballon d'or objective completionist whatever it's called to get that whole segment of objectives done right here right this is this one right here we get 500 sp for it so all you have to do is win three matches once again guys it is only two days and three 13 hours left until these cards expire and of course the objective expires as well your boy needs to get cranking on some of these because i have not played that many games especially yesterday i didn't play it like at all so i gotta get working on this today we'll be playing champs hopefully i can play a couple of other games and get those 
uh, objectives moving. Now, let's go to the SBC section where the rest of content was yesterday, starting with, again, another piece of movement in that objective, the Ballon d'Or Challenge number two. And it is a pretty easy SBC to do once again with a pretty simple pack as a part of the reward. We will be getting another one of these today. It's only 4,000 coins according to Footbin. Make sure you get both of these done. I'm here as a bad example, not having either of them done yet, but I will be getting them done. I will not forget because I want to get that SBC or that objective done speaking of SBCs though we have an icon tab for the first time this year it's finally there guys icon SBCs our first one hopefully it's only up from here Juan Sebastian Verone it is the exact same card that was leaked statistically with the incisive pass plus four star four star the stats are okay. The price is the problem, guys. I mean, just look at the card. Center mid, center attack in mid. Good stats. Actually, really good passing stats. 90 short passing, 90 long passing. He can rip a long shot with 93 shot power, 91 long shots. Decent dribbling, decent defending, decent physical, and some okay play styles as well. And okay rolls and roll plus plus. But it's the price. It's nine squads and it's 408,000 coins. Look at the like to dislike ratio. 2,500 dislikes, 400 thumbs up. It's our first Icon SBC of the year. And like I said, it just feels like it's it's not one that gets people really excited. Think about our first Icon SBC last year, David Beckham base. Then we had Blanc. Last year during the same promo, we had Pirlo, we had Vidic. And a couple of weeks later, we had uh, Eusebio, and we're starting with Barone this year. It's really a step down. I don't know. Maybe EA's worried about the power curve. They didn't like people getting icons too fast last year. I don't know what the issue is, but this is not starting off super hot. Hopefully, it kind of can only go up from here. But I do want to make a couple of quick notes from this SBC. First of all, it, the bronze and silver squads are back, which means at some point in the next, I don't know, two or three months, as we start getting more and more icon SBCs, bronze rares and silver rares, but specifically bronzes, will actually sell because these cards at one or two or three different junctions throughout the entire year of Ultimate Team will always go up. Like bronze rares, you'll be able to sell them for like 600 to 800, maybe even a thousand coins at some point in the year, probably before team of the year, because more and more icon SBCs will come out and that'll just be people doing these with their bronze uh, squads to get simple small silver players packs and common gold packs. I think these are tradable, so you have a chance of packing a silver that could go into an evolution. People always just chuck their bronzes in there to get some extra packs. Those packs aren't the two rare gold packs that they used to be, but at least they're there. The other note I want to make for this SBC is it looks like EA will probably use higher rated squads in the future on icons that are actually more expensive because you have an 87 and 286 squads in an SBC that's only 400,000 coins. So I think when we get an icon that is worthy of a price tag of maybe a million coins plus, hopefully that can bring us some of our first higher rated SBC requirements. I say hopefully that can bring us high requirements because those of us that have invested in high rated fodder are still waiting for it to go up. But yet again, it's another one here with 400,000 coins of price on it. So it's not super high in the ratings and it's just not enough um, stat boost. It's not enough card to be worth the price. That's kind of the way to look at it. So unfortunate beginning there to Icon SBCs, but we will see where we can go from there. Now, last thing I want to talk about is in relation to the store packs. We didn't get any new store packs, I don't think, yesterday. I think it was just a refresh from what we had before. They did run lightning rounds again the same times it's good to note at the 6 p.m content drop and then just a couple hours ago at 3 a.m uk there were lightning rounds again untradeable ones albeit but it seems like ea's maybe on that same schedule of lighting rounds at the same times. I think they'll run them again early hours today as well. It's untradeable packs, but it's worth noting. Now, I'm here in the store to also talk about this 380k holding out for a hero pack, which I opened one of them. A lot of you guys did as well because of the whole compensation situation. This tweet is not about that, unfortunately. But I just want to make a note here. If EA do not tweet about compensation for that hero pack in the next day or two, I know it's the weekend. Maybe they're waiting on it to tweet. Probably not a lot of tweets coming from them the weekend per usual or fixes or anything because it's the weekend. But if they don't tweet about that here soon, then maybe that means they're not doing compensation or they've somehow found, I don't know. I, I have a lot of questions if they're not doing compensation for that. But usually in those situations, they tweet about it. So we'll have to see. But they did tweet yesterday that there was issues with people who haven't received rewards from completing the Ballon d'Or completionist objective. And they haven't updated that yet because it's still an ongoing issue. But you know what I also want to point out here real quick? They have a tweet from literally November 1st that they have not, uh, you know, responded to, which has 1 million views. That's crazy. 
this tweet has a million views, that the Rivals rewards from two weeks ago that people did not get, they have still not gotten them. So, yo, EA, I don't know what's going on right now, but, like, you know, we need some compensation because that pack said uh, Hero instead of Icon. I know I'm saying that biased as somebody who opened it, but... Uh, yeah, just like fix up. I don't know what else there is to say at the moment about that, but hopefully things can get fixed up about the compensation and those who are still waiting on rewards and other fixes from EA at the moment can get those because it feels like they're way behind on that at this time. Now, speaking of market impact in terms of compensation and in terms of everything going on with this market crash, let's just get right into the conversation today, especially with the icon SBC coming. That's probably the biggest piece of content that we are going to be expecting today. And I want to start the conversation by talking about what icon SBC are we going to be getting? Because just, what was it, two weeks ago, we had the Max 88 icon, right? Then we had the base hero upgrade last Sunday. This is expiring today. Icon pack most likely replacing it. Well, this was the pack code that was added a couple of days ago. Max 88 base icon upgrade pack. You're like, Nate, that sounds familiar. Why is that being added to the code again? I went back and looked at the old code from the other Max 88 icon pack that we had just a couple weeks ago. And the only difference is this one said base icon player pack. Description is exactly the same, but it says Max 88 base icon player pack. This one says Max 88 base icon upgrade pack. Originally, I thought maybe this is going to be an icon pack in the store, but we haven't seen it in the store yet. So I don't know. I, I also guys don't think there's going to be a uncapped icon pack today either, because that has so much more potential of crazy cards. Think about Gareth Bale, or think about like Jarzinho, Cruyff. We have so many more icons that are above the rating of 88 than we do heroes above the rating of 88. So when they have like a max 88 hero compared to a max 88 icon, or like an uncapped hero compared to an uncapped icon. There's a huge difference in terms of the icons, and maybe EA is not ready to release a uncapped icon SBC yet. I would say, I guess you could watch for pack code to be released this morning on Sunday, but I'm pretty sure they don't release pack code on Sunday very often because it is the weekend. But if there is any different icon code that's added to the code today or icon pack, then that could be coming today. But really, it's looking like the Max 88 is going to be coming out again. And honestly... How much is it going to cost? Let's get into that because we already had this SBC, right? It was a four segment, four squad SBC. It was 370K. This is the one that had some higher rated squads into it, right? 85, 86, 86, and 87 rated. It was 330, 370,000 coins, and it made fodder go up a lot. That's kind of the thing that I think we have to watch out for today regarding this pack is... SBC fodder guys and with squad battle rewards coming out it could bring a good investing opportunity because if we go back and take a look at the graphs you might remember oh yeah this is when fodder exploded 88s were almost 20,000 coins because this SBC came out this is also a couple of weeks ago when 86s I believe went to was it 13k can we look at the graph here? Yeah, 13 to 14,000 coins the day after this SBC was released. These went up to about 13, 14K. It was crazy. These uh, 86 is going up that high. Now, do I think they're going to go as high this time? Probably not, just because they're so low right now. And to be honest, if this SBC is this expensive again, so many people have lost coins throughout the weekend, maybe spend some fodder on like the Darwin Nunez SBC specifically. That's one of the best SBCs out right now. Maybe people are crafting Puteas, probably not too many, but it's an icon pack. So people are going to go and do it. I think EA needs to adjust the price on this a little bit. Um, maybe they take off an 85 rated squad and just make it 86, 86, 87. And that would make the SBC like 300K flat, or at least right now it'd be even cheaper than that because fodder is lower now than it was when this SBC was released. We'll have to see, but I think fodder is a great investment today. But the thing is with fodder, I think there's a shorter term hold window for fodder. What, like we saw with the hero upgrade last week, we don't see the fodder prices like we did earlier in the year rising from Monday or Sunday into Wednesday because we don't have an icon or a hero pack coming out on Wednesday anymore. It's kind of like when fodder goes up, it kind of peaks on the day the SBC is released and maybe the next day and then it goes down. Like that's what I would be expecting for today, guys. If you're going to invest, which I think investing today, I'd look at 84s up to 88s. Once again, 89 plus is probably not going to be needed, but 84s to 88s would be where I'd be investing for this. 84s, 2.3K, 85s, 5.5, 86s under 9 or like right at 9K, 87s, I think 12K is good, and 88s 
under 16, 15K, somewhere in there. Um, I think if you're buying it today, I think you want to sell it tonight when the SBC comes out in that hype, when most people are doing the SBC, list your fodder an hour before content, one at a time to get lazy sales. You can do that or just wait to sell it until after the SBC is out. Or maybe you hold it until tomorrow on Monday. People get more of their rewards and prices sometimes swing up on fodder a little bit further. But I think that's kind of what you want to do in terms of holding the fodder. Usually it goes up right away and then it's not going up that much more the further we go beyond that especially with the SBCs that are out right now like if we were gonna if we were expecting another icon SBC to come out or another big player SBC then I'd maybe say okay it could be worth holding but at least at the moment we have an icon player SBC that literally nobody wants to do or very few people want to do I don't think that's going to help fodder prices at all so in terms of fodder, I think we list the buy prices there in good scenarios. It's still low. I think today there's a decent chance for it to rise after squad battle, so get in quick if you can because it probably will be moving up and then sell it after content when the SBC is released. Now, with that coming out, that's also going to make people go and sell cards, right? Think about a meta market perspective. People are going to probably have to sell some cards today to go and buy that, or maybe they have some coins liquid, but usually when you see a pack like that dropped, people are going to the market and specifically in cards in that less than the three to 400K range. Like if the SBC is 300K, you're seeing cards that are like 100, 200, 300,000 coins dropping on the market because people are going and selling them to get the SBC done. So I would expect some more market crash today, not only because of that, but also because this pack is still in the code guide. I, this this pack, I know, it might be all bark, no bite, but we'll have to see what it actually looks like and the price of it's really going to be the deciding factor. Rare Gold nominee pack, again, this is the pack. It's an 85 times 5, definitely going to be in the store, but it gives you a very increased opportunity of packing Vinny, Mbappe, and Centurions Hansen, Lautaro, and Rodri, as well as Saliba and Bonmati gold cards as well. Any of the players that are in the Ballon d'Or nominees in packs right now that are above 85 rated, you get a very you get one of those guaranteed. So a very high chance of those. If this pack is like 100k for an 85.5, that's probably not um, more expensive enough. It should. It's, I'm gonna guess 150 or 175k. But EA know that this guaranteed Ballon d'Or situation here is gonna make the pack super interesting. They might even make it more than that. It's probably not going to be worth opening with coins, but you see that. And if those packs start giving out Mbappe's or Vinny's or just be careful if there's a glitch with this today and, you know, pack weight with these specific pack weights, you know, like there could be 0.7% messy situations happening today. That's something we always have to consider. If that sort of thing happens today, then that could really, really, really impact the market as well. So I'm curious about this pack and it hasn't dropped yet. That's why I'm still talking about it because this is kind of some impending danger. And I'm really hoping that it drops today because if this drops today, plus the icon pack, we could have a nice market dip to be picking up some cards in. Now, speaking about the current situation on the market, cards are really low still. It's like most cards are in the same place that they were before, or some of them are even further down. Look at Salah, 109,000 coins. Friday, of course, he went from 170 down to 100K. That was his low point on Friday after content. He rose up pretty nice yesterday. He went to 120. Then it went down to 112. The content went back up to 120. And now here he is at 109 again. Now it's like, ooh, he's 109. That's close to his low. Should we be buying? Well, again, kind of like I mentioned, he's probably going to go up a little bit today. We do have squad battle rewards, which is going to supply the market a little bit. And one thing I will say about squad battle rewards this week is... I think more people have played and uh, I think there might be more supply and more rewards being given out today because there were squad battle games required for one of those objectives. So, you know, there could be a bit of movement upwards today. It looks like Salah's even rebounding a little bit right now, but I think there's going to be some more drops around content with everything expected to drop with the icon, maybe that store pack. And I think you'll see some more dips. And I think today could be this an opportunity to buy in on those dips. Sometimes after content until early tomorrow on Monday, probably going to be a good time to pick up on some of those cards. We'll talk about that more in a second. But other market movements that we saw yesterday were some cards that didn't drop off as much, right? Saliba on Friday, he went from 115, went up a bunch to 135, crashed to 107. But like 115 to 107, that's not that big of a drop overall. He went down more yesterday from 116 down to under 100K where he is now. Or look at Bonmati. On Friday, she was 120, went up to 160 with the Barca hype. Still around 120K at her lowest. And now 93,000 coins. Part of Parts of the market that maybe didn't drop off as much. 
let's say on Friday because they weren't attackers. A lot of defenders, right? We talked about it, didn't drop off as much. A lot of those defenders dropped yesterday as kind of they caught up to the current state of the market. Like this Bremer was 520K. He went down to under 450 yesterday and is now back up to 570. So that's kind of how the kind of, kind of the rest of the market stuff that didn't drop yet is now catching up by going down in price, which is creating, I mean, it's kind of nice to see in my opinion, because now, you know, it's like, all right, we're getting to a spot where the market's kind of normaling out. And a lot of cards like Pulisic, right? Pulisic went to his absolute lowest price on Friday for like an hour. He was 150, 160,000 coins. He hasn't really been there yet, but he's been fluctuating between 170 and 190. That's, I just picked it up at 180 because he looks pretty rare. That's a card that I think could rise up a little bit today just after squad battle rewards just because that's a card that if you look at his graph is moving a lot. So maybe a quick 10k profit here for this selling around 200k will be my hope. But I think today with the content coming out brings a really good opportunity to buy into some out of pack specials, not necessarily the Centurions cards. They're going to get supplied today and they'll probably drop lower too. We could look into buying them later tonight, but I'm going to steer clear of these for now. I like the out of pack special cards that have been really hurt in price because of the loan cards this weekend. And I like ones that are just down incredible amounts guys cards that have crashed the most especially if they're attackers i like those even better like the pulisic right oh Lou, what the world 197k he's already back up but like look at this graph this is why i like him 177 boom 190 friday right he was 270 went down to 160 He's been 170, 180 ever since. He has, has some spikes each and every day. I think today with the icon pack and that kind of panic is going to create some opportunity to pick up some of these cards. Trailblazers Team 1, Trailblazers Team 2, Heroes, Icons, other out-of-pack specials. Maybe it's a Road to the Knockout cards or players from the Total Rush. What? 1.07. Like, De Jong is dropping. That's the lowest that I've seen him. But that's another card that didn't drop as much this weekend. And finally, now he's dropping some more. Look at Chouameni. Under 500k. That's an undercut, but that's crazy. Obviously, we know Griezmann's really, really low. I bought a Griezmann for 680 like right here on Friday, sold him for 770 shortly after. He was 720 yesterday and then went up to almost 800. Griezmann hits 700k again today or 720 in some panic selling some bit of a drop that's a card that i'd be interested in and even some of your meta golds i picked up a puteas to play like one or two games of weekend league with at 259 i can't believe the price in this card she was 340 yesterday i sold her right here at 340 and now she's two that like that's crazy bro that's really really crazy some cards may not go down a ton today as well like i can see people looking at these prices and saying nah screw the icon pack I'm just going to go out and buy a couple cards because it's just too low for my liking and they think it's going to start to go up. But I just, I would rather wait until we get a piece of content like that icon pack. Can I pick up this Puteus? All right, I got another one. We're getting risky with it, right? Uh, I just want to wait for that icon pack because stuff that has just dropped a lot, I think it could maybe have one more dip and you could have people selling cards once again because of a piece of content like an icon pack before we have some prices that start to go up. Now, I have picked up a couple of cards like that Puteus and a couple of Trents and one Harry Kuehl. These are the types of cards that I'm interested in, but these aren't ones that I'm looking to like hold necessarily. I'm hoping for these cards to go up a little bit today. Um, and then I'll sell them after like rivals, sorry, not rivals, squad battle rewards. And then from there, hopefully I'll be able to go into some other players on the market and sell those. So that's kind of my hope for the content today and for the market. I think we have a dip with the uh, icon pack and maybe the store pack content. And then after that, maybe we start to see some rises. But I think for the cards right now, the cards that I bought, like the Pulisic, I'm just going to hold out and see if we have a little bit of a rise post. Uh, squad battles and see what happens usually the impact stuff like centurions do not rise like i i know these cards really did well yesterday like um who was it it was jonathan ta jonathan ta went up like 30 40 50k or something like that yesterday he went from 140 to almost 200 that's about 50k 60k huge rise right will it happen again today i think those rises will be a lot less because you have supply hitting the market with the rewards. So I'd be very careful trading with those. Those might drop for most of the day today, maybe up a little in the morning and then down at content. And we'll maybe look into those for a Monday morning rise. But that's enough about the market, if that makes sense. Kind of like my ideas for what I'll be watching today. Really quickly, what other content could we be having? Well, we got one of the leaked player SBCs yesterday with Verone. We still have Ohara coming as an end of an era. And we also have Inyaki Williams. Both of these... 
I mean, interest me, USA links, NWSL links, a lot of people have been investing in those. A lot of people, like, I mean, the Pulisic technically works for that. I wasn't necessarily investing in him because of this card. But if she's coming today, maybe he could bounce up a little bit in value, a little extra too. That's a leak that we have to watch out for. And then this Inyaki Williams, I think one of those two is going to be coming today. We get player SBCs on the weekend all the time. Like I mentioned, we're going to get that challenge SBC number three. And I guess maybe... There's a potential for an evolution as well. Evolutions look a little bit uh, thin right now because we had so many expire yesterday. I just chucked in a couple of random cards. Like I put Rapid Wing Mastery on Mikey Moore. And then I also did Bag of Tricks. 50,000 coins spent on this Geo Reyna card. It's going to come out looking like this. Holy smokes. What a player with those play styles. It's going to have tricks. Oh, this card is just one evolution away from a playstyle plus and being insane and a weak foot upgrade anyways i'll stop glazing my evos i think that since we had a lot of evos expire yesterday maybe there's another one coming out today hopefully it's another centurions um card design but we don't have a centurions card design evo yet that gives us the actual card design that's paid sorry we don't have a paid centurions one maybe that's going to be coming today that could also drain coins off the market guys paid evolutions you guys know people spend a lot of coins on those Especially if they don't uh, spend FC points, they run RTGs. So that's something to watch out for today as well. So keep a close eye on the market. It's going to be a big day for that, especially from an investing standpoint. If there's gold cards that you want to pick up uh, for a team for a rise later on this week, I think today's the day that we start to look into it. But again, the, what the gauge is when you're looking to buy a card today is know where that card went. Like again, if I use the Pulisic graph uh, or maybe the Griezmann graph is a great example. I look at Friday. Friday, he got panicked all the way to 673. For some of these cards, he's probably not going back to 673. That might have been the absolute lowest, right? But yesterday, on Saturday, he was 720 before going upwards to almost 800. So if I see 720 again or 700, I'd pull that trigger, right, for a card that could hopefully rise up a little bit further during the week this week as people start to build teams again as the loan cards expire. Again, this is a whole new sort of sort of event concept and a market concept that we've never seen before, which is why it feels like we can figure out and guess how to trade with it, but also at the same time, it's brand new and it's nothing we've ever seen before. So the link investing, they're really, really good on Friday. I also think that people buying cards back for their teams will work really, really good this week as well. It might be something that we buy these cards today, tomorrow, the loans expire on Tuesday, and then we don't even sell these until after Rivals Rewards on Thursday when we see market input, uh, coin impact with uh, coins hitting the market, right? That might be where we start to sell some of these cards then. That's just something to like think about and kind of look out for. This Puteas is really, really low too, but her SBC is uh, pretty cheap as well. All the Puteas are going down, but that's just kind of something to watch out for on the market in terms of a method of a plan heading forward to this week. So that's enough yapping from me. I did have a nice flip here on Sawa, bought it at 1.2, sold it at 1.31. These Casillas were losses. I lost probably about 90,000 coins uh, combined from these three cards. So yeah, 90K loss from those. Made a bit of it back here with Sawa, made a bit of it back with Araujo and Shulamani, and then this Puteas as well. But... Yeah, it's a little bit tough out here, bro. We, we lost some coins, but we've also made a lot too. But that's why we got some other flips going for a hopeful bit of profit today. And then, of course, some investments coming soon. I'm not a fodder guy, but if you are, time to get on some of those bids today during Squad Battle Rewards. Enough yapping from me. I've yapped enough about the market. Have a great Sunday, guys. I'll be in the stream today opening Icon Packs. Probably not doing the Icon Pack unless it's incredibly cheap or if EA released something other than the Max 88. But I think it's going to be the Max 88. And I hope it's a little bit cheaper. I also got to do Darwin Nunez. And I'm trying to stock up fodder for maybe more Icon SBCs to come in the future. Like an Icon SBC that's impactful. That's one thing I want to be careful about doing now at this stage. The game is a max 88 Icon. Is that going to get in the team? Only if I get super lucky. But a guaranteed player SBC, that would definitely get in the team. Anyways, that's enough yet for me again. I will see you guys in the YouTube and on the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. If you enjoyed this one, drop it up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Have a great Sunday, guys. See you there later today. It's been Nathan for the Peace out.